We missed it. They said we were too late to board. Today is Jessica's birthday. I have a couple things planned for her. One of them is kind of like a birthday Hi. card. And then I have a birthday present right here. Addie doesn't even know what it is yet. No. <laughs> we'll just open it. How about that? We'll just open it. Okay. Can I help you? Yeah, you can help okay. me. So I'm gonna rip right here. Open, open, open. Oh, oh what is it? Is it a squishy? It's not a squishy. Being that my wife is very big on social media and everything else that she likes to do, I got her basically a wooden plaque that will display in real time how many YouTube subscribers that she has. And plugs in right here. Jessica's upstairs getting ready right now. I actually did a little project right here with Addie and she wanted to make Jessica like a happy birthday card. I kind of like made it to where I made like all the dots on here so Addie could trace it out so she could draw happy birthday to mom. What's up fam? I am officially 29 today. Oh my gosh, it's my birthday. I feel like as you get older, your birthdays are less like, I don't know. I think it's still cool, but and now it's just like, geez, I'm getting older. I'm not gonna lie, I've had kind of a rough morning. <laughs> I, was, I got like all ready and I was like feeling cute. And then I just got really sad and I started crying. Not because I'm like old <laughs> or anything. I think it's just like, I don't know, like, Life just goes by so fast. And this is my first, oh my God. <laughs> this is my first birthday without my Grammy here. And God, I'm not gonna do this. I hate when people do this. I'm like, this is so awkward to watch. Like I, <laughs> oh my gosh. It just, life goes by so fast, like so fast. I think I've realized that like this year more than ever, just, you know, losing someone who's, who you're close with. I just don't want to take any second of it for granted. I just want to always, I want to make today a good, a good day. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a mess already. I don't think I've ever cried on my birthday. Pull yourself together. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna change because I put this on and I think it's a really cute dress. I got it from, I think Target. I really, really like it, but it's like, I don't know what I'm, I'm not doing anything today, so I don't think I'm really, I don't think I'm gonna wear it. I think I'm just gonna put leggings back on. So I do, I have very like little planned for today. It's just like, I don't know, I feel like it's just a regular day really. But I do wanna take like a really cute picture. I just had this like thought last night that it would be a really cute idea to, because it's my last year in my 20s, to take a picture. I've just like seen people do it on Pinterest and stuff. Like take a picture with like a 29 or something um, just for Instagram purposes only pretty much. So I'm gonna go to Party City and I'm gonna get myself some balloons and I think I'll just probably sit like right here on the bed and I don't know, just have it set up right there and just take like a cute picture. That's all I want for my birthday. I just wanna be surrounded by family, take a cute Instagram picture and maybe have Texas Roadhouse for dinner. That's all I want for my birthday. Okay, go on. What did you make? What did you make? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> what is it? Stand up, stand up. Did you make that for me? What does it say? Happy birthday, Mommy. Oh, you give me hugs? Thank you. Do you know how old I am? 29. <gasps> she did it all by herself. This is cute. I like your heart. Your heart is so cute. I love it. Thank you. I'll put it and right then, there. I got one big one. Yeah, you do. For you. <laughs> okay. I opened it to check it first, so that's why it's like ripped open. It doesn't. Is this one of those active ones? Yes. Stop it. This is really I cool. I haven't set it up yet, but I was like, they like emailed me instructions on how to do it. Where'd but you it, get it? Etsy. And I glanced at the numbers on the thing, 
You are so hard to shop for because you already have everything. <laughs> that's how. That's why you're hard to shop for. I think we're hard. No to way. Shop for yes, you no, are. No you're way. You're so hard to shop for. I'm just not a good good gift giver though. But this is I like. But I thought I thought I like this is sentimental was, stuff. Yeah. That, you know? I thought that was really cool because then you can like put it up on your desk or your computer Kate and Tommy are actually leaving today and they're leaving like later in the evening But we want to have like a last dinner together and everything. This is it. This is my last year of my 20s Is it all downhill from here? Uh, Two. Careful. You're about to be 33. Careful <laughs> Speaking from somebody who has hit the 30s. I'm getting old. It's not that bad. <laughs> I heard that your 30s are the new 20s, so this is my first That's annual 29th birthday. <laughs> I need to change out of this dress. This is cute, but I just, it's too much for. Yeah, I don't know if I want you in public like that. In that case, I think I'll keep it on. <laughs> The big kids are all across the street at the park. They've just been hanging out there for most of the day, which is good. It means the house is super quiet, so I like that. They're enjoying their last day together um, before Tommy and Kate have to go back home. Oh God, we just got the windows tinted in our car, and it's like so dark back there. It's so weird, um, but it was driving me crazy because there was no tint on these windows at all, and I don't like it to be super tinted, but I want it to be like a little bit tinted, so Chris went and got the windows tinted a couple days ago, and I'm still getting used to it. It's really strange. Okay, off to Party City. There's a guy on the way out. He was like, 29 or 92? I'm like, you tell me. Which one? Which one do you think it is? I can only hope that one day I live to see the age of 92. But for now, we're celebrating 29. Dad? What? Whoa. You almost killed me on my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. You guys have been at the park all day, and now they're in the pool. Hey, just got back. I got helium. I got balloons. And then I got two and nine balloons, but it's like lunchtime around here and yeah, girl is not cooking today. We just got a bunch of Nurture Life meals delivered, so that is like literally perfect. They're sponsoring this video. I love them. I've worked with them in the past and they have so many different kinds. So we're gonna do this for lunch today. Ooh, this helium box is like the perfect height. Nurture Life has been setting a new standard for kids' food, one that delivers a healthier world for better nutrition for kids, but it's extremely easy. It looks like this, this is one kind actually. Let me see, this one's gonna be for Addy. So you order them online through their extremely like user-friendly website and then they send them directly to your door. They're really good at making sure that they keep the sugars low. And each and every meal is designed to provide the perfect ratio of proteins, carbohydrates, fiber, and fat for each age range. What's up? There's like an inch-long worm thing with like a bunch of weird little claws crawl, uh, crawling at the deep end. Ew, inside the border? Yeah. Outside, inside? Inside. Grab it. <laughs> These are all freshly made meals specifically for kids. So they start at 10 months, they have meals starting at 10 months, and then they have different age categories like toddler, kids, and teens. They even have like snacks and they have, um, they, oh, they have a new one too. They're called portable meals and they can even be served cold. So you can bring them like on the go, like pack them for a picnic. Every single meal includes a full serving of vegetables. And some of them you don't even know it. Like this mac and cheese. Full serving of vegetables. They hide the butternut squash in it, so it's actually brilliant. Nurture Life as a whole focuses on antibiotic free proteins, organic produce, and whole grains. You can also subscribe and save, and that's nice because then you get like weekly orders and exclusive discounts. And the subscription is incredibly flexible. You can skip weeks. That is like a necessity for me when I have things delivered to our house because I'll subscribe because it makes more sense. But when we go places or we have you know something else going on that week, it's nice to be able to like skip the weeks that you need to, and it's not just sitting on your doorstep. So it's incredibly flexible. You can also pause it and cancel at any time. I think I'm gonna. Gonna do the pesto and cheese ravioli a bunch of the kids like this and then this build your own pizza I actually haven't tried this one before or I haven't had the kids try this one before and I think a lot of them will like that This is a chicken salad with apples in it. They even have a, a, a fish one. I saw teriyaki salmon Tommy and Kaden love fish. I personally the smell of it, like I can't do it, but Chris, Tommy, and Kaden, they all love salmon. And then I'm gonna go take my Instagram picture. Lennon also has to do his eardrops in a minute. Oh my gosh, just like a typical mom day like <laughs> Same as usual. Nurture Life is offering an incredible discount right now, 50% off your first two orders if you use my code. And click the link down in the description, you can get that. Landon. 
Brandon laid down to do his eardrops for today because he has that ear infection and he fell asleep. <laughs> I am going to fill up these balloons with helium. I have a string and then I thought these would be like cute props. I don't know. I'm just trying to throw something together. It's the little things in life that make me happy like taking an Instagram picture. <laughs> Fresh coffee and bagels too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys. I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a bear and of fun. Growing up is just a crowd. <laughs> I told you it was gonna happen. Back into family content. Alright, let the birthday dinner. Vegan. Beautiful birthday dinner. Oh yeah, my sissy came home. Woo! Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Oh, don't remind me. I'm gonna get old. No, 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 no. You look really nice, though. Oh, thank you. Look like you're 27. Oh, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I think it looked like 25. Still like, like, mm. I was thinking about 25. You still look like, like 24 to me. <laughs> you guys keep them coming. I love all these compliments. It's great. It's great. <laughs> you're stuffing my mouth behind the camera. Mmm. <laughs> you love you guys. They said we were too late in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it all your fault. You know that, right? They just wanted dinner. I'm gonna book the flight for tomorrow at the same time. Does it cost anything? No. Oh, see? So what's the problem? You, you know why it doesn't cost anything, though? Why? Because the flight was actually tomorrow, not today. Shut up! Shut up! I gave. I gave the girl, um, her last name. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna break that elevator. She's like, I don't see you in the system. She's like, are you sure it's under that name? I was like, yeah, she found the flight. And she was like, you're not flying out of here today. And I looked at my itinerary, and I was like, I looked at her and I was like, oh my god. I was like, that's why you don't see me for tomorrow. And she just starts blushing up laughing. I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. <laughs> so it's not my fault. No, it still would have been your fault. No, you would have made it in plenty of time. Tommy and Kane are coming back. <laughs> Tommy and Kane are coming back. Yes, Tommy and Kane are coming back. Yeah. Yes, they're coming. Tommy and Kane are coming back. Yes, they're coming. Tommy and Kane are coming back. No, they didn't actually miss their flight though. Dad was wrong and the flight was leaving leaves tomorrow, not today. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I'm like, I planned their flight for the day after so we don't feel rushed. Well, looky there then. All that drama. Well then can you get like a, a oh sh so, funny story. The boys' flight leaves at 7.20. Before they left, we were like, okay, we're gonna get dinner. We're gonna um, have like dinner together as a family, a birthday dinner, and then I'll, and then he was gonna take them to their flight. He ended up picking the dinner up late, like super late, and he was like, I'm not gonna have time, I'm not gonna have time, I'm not gonna have time. And I was like, yes, you will, you're gonna be fine. Like, just go pick up dinner and bring it here. We'll just scarf it down really quickly, and then you can go and you'll make your flight on time. So he huffed and puffed about it, and he was like, I'm gonna miss a flight, I'm gonna miss a flight, I'm gonna miss a flight. And I was like, no, no, you're gonna be fine. So he picked up the food, and the food took really long. <laughs> it took a lot longer than expected. I guess he expected it to take, that, to take that long, which is why he was like, I'm gonna be late if we get this food. And I was like, ah, you're fine. The food ended up taking forever to get ready. He rushed it back here, we scarfed it down really quick, and he was out the door, like literally mid bites, like they're leaving. He gets all the way there, goes to check in, and print out their boarding passes. Apparently, <laughs> their flight is tomorrow. Their flight's 
tomorrow. So he called me and he freaked me out because he was like, they missed their flight. I told you they were gonna miss their flight. And I was like, it's not even 7.20 like, 20 yet. Like there's no way that they missed their flight. And he's like, yeah, I'm just kidding. The flight's tomorrow. <laughs> See, I was right. I knew there was no reason to be freaked out. So we're gonna watch a movie. Tommy and Kate are coming back and stay one more day. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a big, big boo-boo. Back so soon. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen you. Oh my gosh. So it was a great training exercise. For tomorrow. So we are well prepared. Yeah, okay. Can we just start a bonfire for you? Yes. So you're older than me, old man. Careful. Cheese, 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 Addy cheese. Pizza. <laughs> okay, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. The camera yeah. set up right here um, to like yeah. take video of us singing happy birthday. And, and right when she like did this, I went, <gasps> and it and it, the storage was full on your memory. The card. storage was full on my memory card. So I guess my wish is not coming true this year. Is that a sign, or maybe that means that it is coming through? It's ice cream and cake. Ice cream cake. <laughs> this house is so loud all the time. Thank you. I know. Like, she watched the whole thing. She did not fall asleep. Like stand up. I think that's her first movie she sat through without like being distracted. Probably. Oh, like that was. Movie. It was. It was like a fairy tale. Oh, that's and, my favorite movie. I know. It was really good. Are you guys ready for round two? Yeah. Are we prepared this time? Yeah. Do we have everything? Is it the right day? Yeah. <laughs> it is. Tomorrow, today is tomorrow, tomorrow's today of yesterday that happened of the Miss Communicated plane That's ticket. <laughs> I dropped off Kate and Tommy. I hear Jessica upstairs, she's editing. I think this is like the perfect time to kind of let you guys in on a little secret that I have kind of been planning for Jessica's birthday. She has, well, I don't think that she has an idea of what's going on. I try to be kind of sneaky with these things, but at the same time, I kind of have to tell her a little bit about what's going on because I honestly like, I need help planning with like babysitting and like coordinating things. I'm like the overall planner. So as you guys know, Jessica's birthday passed and I kind of had a last minute idea to plan this fun trip. So it all kind of started with a conversation um, with me and Ryan, which is one of my friends, and then his wife, Rosalind, which is one of Jessica's friends. You guys have probably seen them in the vlogs. We hang out together quite often, and they're really good friends of ours. Well, both of their birthdays 
are in March. So Rosalind and Jessica both have a March birthday and Ryan and I decided to kind of like do like a staycation kind of thing. Jessica is literally like non stop working like she's upstairs right now in our bed editing it is it's almost midnight and she's still editing she is working constantly day in day out she doesn't take a break and I just kind of want to get her out of the house away from working away from kids and just like get like a reset button relax and just have a nice enjoyable birthday so as you guys know we also have a second channel which is not so family friendly I know she's been wanting to put content on it for a while this will kind of give her an opportunity to open up a little more and do something different and I think she'll really enjoy putting some more content under that for you guys so like I said I have I have this like staycation trip planned for us well I don't have it planned me and Ryan planned it so stay tuned and make sure you go subscribe to the other channel that we have and you can see everything that goes on in this staycation I've got a little bit of picking up to do around the house before tomorrow because we are leaving like tomorrow morning early afternoon hope you guys have a good night make sure you like like is it like subscribe is that what it is I don't know whatever you do in the video heart like subscribe notifications all that good stuff have a fantastic day